Question 9 is another limit problem, but instead of giving us a graph to work from, we're using an equation. So they're asking us to find the limit, the overall limit, as x approaches negative 5 of the equation x squared minus 25 over x plus 5. Whenever I want to evaluate a limit given an equation, I start, I've got two main options. And option 1 for me is to take whatever that equation is that they just gave me, plug that into y1 on my calculator, and then from there, I'm going to graph that equation and do a second calc. And then I'll choose number one in that menu option, which is value. And the value will be the x value I care about, which the x value is the value we're approaching. So that would be negative 5 here. And so whatever y comes out as would be my answer if option 1 works. So pull out my calculator. Go into my y equals. On the newer TI-84s, you can hit this alpha button, that green button on the left side there, and then y equals. And it'll pull up this menu. And from that menu, you can choose that n over d option, number one there. And what that'll do is that'll split that into a fraction for us. So we don't have to worry about all the extra parentheses that you usually have to have when you're entering something like this into your calculator. So that's what I would do on the newer models. If you don't have one of those, you just want to remind yourself it's always the whole top in a set of parentheses. So x squared minus 25, close it, and then divide it by the whole bottom in a set of parentheses. So x plus 5, and then that's what that would look like. Whole top divided by the whole bottom. Since we don't need both of those to graph, I'll just turn one off and we'll graph the first one we put in there. So after I graph it, like I said, my move is to go second calc and then choose number one in that menu option value and I want to know what's happening at negative five so I type in negative five and what we'll see here is I get a y equals blank and so I didn't get a y value out trying option one here but that doesn't mean I have a final answer in any way shape or form what that really means is just option one failed and so what I then have to go back to is option two which is going to still use the graph but I just have to do more of a standard uh, overall limit situation. So if you remember from any of the previous problems where we're talking about overall limits, anytime I'm talking about an overall limit, I'm really asking myself, does the left hand limit equal the right hand limit? And if the answer to that is yes, then the overall is the same. And if the answer to that was no, then fine, the overall does not exist, or DNE as we sometimes notate it. So to check on the left and the right hand limits on my calculator, I would start with my left hand limit. And so I think about this on a number line and I'm approaching negative five from the left. Well, as I approach negative five from the left, I want a number really close to negative five. And so I would type in negative 5.00000001. So I'm gonna calc a value at that X value now and see what my calculator gives me out in this situation. So I go back to my calculator. I've already got the equation I want. I just want to test a different value. So second calc and then number one value. And I'll type negative five point and then just as many zeros as you want to type in and then a one and hit enter. And out of there, my calculator is telling me that I've got a y value equal to negative 10. So that lets me know that my left hand limit was equal to negative 10. I now need to compare that to a right-hand limit and see if those things are equal. So I want an x value really close to negative 5 coming in from the right. Well, I would choose something like negative 4.999999, a whole bunch of 9s, right? And so if I type that in and my calculator gives me out negative 10 again, then I know that what I have is an overall limit of negative 10. So come back in, hit second calc, and then number one value. And then type in our number really close from the right hand side. So negative 4.999999, hit enter. And we see again, we get a y value out of there of negative 10. So what I can conclude now is that my left hand limit and my right hand limit were equal. And so that's going to tell me that my overall limit is negative 10, which was answer A.